Finding the best running shoes for you can be challenging, especially if you're a beginner. When you're shopping for other kinds of shoes, you only really need to consider price, looks and comfort. But if you're choosing the best running shoes, there are other things to think about and a lot of terminology to get your head around. We're here to help. In this video, we've selected the best running shoes, including fast models built for racing and cushioned shoes ideal for longer and slower jogs. We've also added suggestions for everyday training, interval training, road running and more. Although there's no substitute for trying on a pair of running shoes yourself, there should be a pair suited to your running style and preferences that our team of experts recommend checking out. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website validconsumer.com. Number 6. Saucony Kinvara 13 The Saucony Kinvara 13 is one of the most impressively lightweight and responsive shoes on the market and is offered at an approachable price. We love the feather light feel for short, fast paced runs when the high leg turnover speed is key. It does have some light cushioning for mid length runs, although it wouldn't be our choice for long distance days. The weak point of the Kinvara 13 is its average cushioning and stability. With a less structured shoe like this one, the wearer must be conscious of maintaining proper form even when fatigued, which is why we prefer to keep our runs in these shoes short and zippy. If you rarely break 10 miles during your runs, these shoes may be the perfect fit, and they are a good choice for doing track laps and speed work. Number five, Adidas Adistar. The Adidas Adistar impressed us with its well-designed rocker, that keeps propelling you forward during long training sessions. It's not the lightest shoe we've ever tested, but its dual density foam is tough and resilient, standing up well even after some serious mileage. We also like the shoe's integrated cage system, which gives this running shoe a snug and comfortable fit. The upper is made of recycled ocean plastic and recycled polyester, which is also welcome from a sustainability standpoint. Overall, the Adidas Adistar is an excellent running shoe for those long, slow sessions and will help you maintain your form when your mind begins to wander and you're running on autopilot. Even after several hours, the shoes don't feel sluggish and the rocker design means you're unlikely to drag your feet despite the shoe's stack height. Number 4. Brooks Glycerin 20 the Brooks Glycerin 20 is our favourite women's running shoe. Beating out the competition with supreme comfort and stability scores, this shoe is in it for the long haul. Not only is it our go-to pair for logging the miles, but we also love to wear these comfortable shoes for walking the dog or when we know we will have a long day on our feet. We are impressed with how Brooks manages to create such a springy landing pad without the bulk of similar maximalist styles. On the flip side of all this cushy comfort is a less responsive and slightly heavier shoe, although it still falls near the middle of the group in both metrics. During testing, we never felt like the weight held us back and the level of responsiveness was enough to make us feel confident in every stride. While not perfect, the Glycerin 20 comes close and will serve you well on almost any length of run. Number 3. Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 is our favourite running shoe for men. It strikes the perfect balance of cushion and responsiveness. This shoe is comfortable enough to carry you through gruelingly long training days and feels agile enough for quick paced race days. The perfect balance is nearly impossible to achieve, but the Endorphin Speed 3 comes closer than most other shoes we have tried. If you're looking for a lot of extra stability in your running shoes, this may not be the best model for you. It performed average relative to other models and has very little added structure to support your feet on uneven terrain. This shoe requires more attention to good form and engaged lower leg muscles to compensate for the lack of rigidity. However, our feet were happy mile after mile and we think the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3 is a great all-round option for most runners. Number 2. Hoka 1-1 Bondi X the Hoka 1-1 Bondi X has the company's familiar chunky style but feels snappy thanks to an embedded carbon plate. This is a new feature for the Bondi line and together with a full-size molded EVA sole, 
it results in a springy and responsive ride. It's softer, wider and generally more forgiving than the Carbon X2 and better suited to squeezing a few extra miles out of your training runs than breaking personal records on race day. In our tests, we found it particularly helpful after the 10 mile mark when our form sometimes tends to suffer. You'll either love or hate its distinctive looks. The fluorescent colour scheme and hefty heel unit are hard to miss, but if you're happy to embrace its style, you'll find it's thoroughly enjoyable when you're hitting the pavement for a few hours. Number 1. Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next% 2 The Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next% 2 is the best running shoe thanks to its impressive energy return that feels like nothing we've experienced before. This is a shoe made for running and running fast. When we tested it, we were extremely impressed by its springiness courtesy of a full-length articulated carbon footplate and generous 40mm of Zoom X foam that never feels squishy or marshmallowy. Its minimalist mesh upper is highly breathable, with a bare minimum of padding, strategically positioned for comfort without adding too much weight. Our feel felt well connected and secure throughout our runs. The Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Pretend 2 is a superb shoe for track days and races, with the potential to propel you to a new personal record. However, we recommend supplementing it with another more affordable shoe from this list for your everyday training. So that wraps up our list of the best running shoes. Hope you find this video helpful. And if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which running shoes you are going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.